A new version of Microsoft Flight Simulator coming in 2024. Hmm. Let's talk about it. Make sure if you guys can that you join us at Flight Sim Expo 2023. That's right. Overkill Simulations is going to be present this year, guys, at the Lone Star Museum in Houston, Texas. If you guys are interested in joining us there, be sure to check down the description below. There is a coupon code that can save you guys a bit of money uh, using my personal reference uh, to get you there. Again, that'll save you a bit of cash in your Flight Sim Expo 2023 experience. This is going to be June 23rd through the 25th of 2023. Uh, again, in Houston, Texas, at the Lone Star Flight Museum. I went a few years ago in Las Vegas, and they are an absolute great time. There's some very, very informative and educational seminars to help better your flight simming experience, as well as a ton of developers of both hardware and software that you guys actually get to try out, essentially a try before you buy experience, as well as talking with the developers themselves and uh, finding out what the products are all about. So again, guys, it's going to be Flight Sim Expo 2023 in Houston, Texas. I hope to see you guys all there. Don't forget to use my coupon code that you can find down in the description below. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, you guys, so you heard me right, a new version. This will not be an expansion of Microsoft 2020, but an actual standalone uh, version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. That is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The highlights and major focus of this particular release is gonna be based on mission and tasking and career modes, essentially. Basically taking everything that you wanted from Microsoft Flight Simulator and throwing it into a simulator of its own. Now, I have been reading about this and I've been watching many people's responses and boy, there are a ton of mixed feelings about this, given the fact that, you know, many would simply state that Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is not still in a, um, what you would call a high quality uh, state. Now, I would disagree with that. I think Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 has come a very long way and I'd say for the most part, it's fairly stable, but I know there are many who still struggle with it on the daily. So that does bring some points of contention. Now, with this new version of 2024, are they still leaving things as is in the aspect of Microsoft 2020, all of its same features, all of its same ability, and then adding this extra packaging onto it? Now, don't get me wrong. Everything that they're adding to this is absolutely phenomenal. I can't question that. I can't deny that. No, will I? I am super excited for all of this uh, that we've seen thus far about Microsoft 2024 and what's coming to it. They're going to change the game. They're going to change the name. They're going to change everything that you know about flight simulation. Um, if they do this correctly, if they truly create an immersive it, real life, quote unquote, experience out of this, then they're going to truly um, turn the tables. No one's going to be able to compete. Microsoft 2020 in general already twisted the game up to the point where nobody could keep up with it. Okay, um, X Plane 12. We all know that, yes, it's been released, blah, 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 you know, and it's a good sim. It'll always be a good sim, but there are many areas that it simply cannot touch Microsoft Flight Simulator. It just can't. Um, and as Microsoft Flight Simulator has evolved, I think that has become more and more apparent. I think Microsoft and Asobo are going to truly dominate the market if they do this next part correctly. Now, I don't know how I feel about it being a completely new release because that's going to mean new purchase for everybody. The, what was it? The deluxe, deluxe version, premium version. I always get them backwards. I think deluxe is the highest, you know, at a hundred and whatever dollars it was when I bought it. Um, that's a pretty big purchase. Now don't get me wrong. I have absolutely gotten my hundred dollars use out of it. Okay. I totally have. But if you're going to take the same platform and you're just going to add these new amazing features to it, then I don't know. I think it should be more of a paid upgrade, but we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. You know, maybe maybe there'll be some sort of discount for those who are already Microsoft Flight Simulator owners. I don't know. That's purely speculation and really wishful thinking, I think, is what it comes down to. But uh, at the same token, it would have to be a pretty ridiculous price point for me to not jump on it because everything that I'm seeing here in these videos and seeing in the announcement news 
and the goals and features um, that are expected to come of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 are things that I have been longing for since the, in, the inception of 2020. Um, this simulator, the only thing it's been missing is that real world experience, those real world features, the animations, and they are giving it to us. They are literally bringing it to us now. Uh, especially like this one here, the fire bombing, the fire bombing. I am super stoked about, you know, I know HPG has done their stuff and we're going to be checking that out by the way, later this week with the, uh, King air 350 and the 747 tanker. We're going to be flying that this week, but here, this is going to affect a lot of third party developers. I think now it's either going to open doors for them or it's going to shut doors. And that part concerns me as well, right? It really does. Um, I hope they still keep it as an open source platform to where the third party developers can enhance on this stuff even further. And so that is a point of concern for me uh, because there's a lot of third party developers that have the ability to dedicate the time and energy and resources into these mission packs. These mission packs are going to have to be extensive in order for the game to truly have value. It can't be more than just these cutscenes that we're seeing here, which I'm sure it's not going to be. Obviously, there's going to be multiple missions and I'm sure there's going to be some sort of growth. But is there a limit to that growth? Is is what What's the extent of that growth going to look like as time goes on? And that's where there's, the catch is going to be. That has to be something that is consistent and ongoing. But like flying that sky crane there, that'd be fun too. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know how this makes you guys feel. I know there's a lot of contention going back and forth. Some people are like, no, like this is ridiculous. This shouldn't be happening yet. Keep in mind, this is 2024 they're talking about releasing this is still a year away you guys uh so still plenty of great things coming from microsoft flight simulator 2020 they're obviously going to be taking their experience for 2020 and using that to polish it out and maybe the way to implement a lot of this stuff it was easier to do a whole new release i don't know it's hard to say right and again maybe there will still be some benefits and advantage to having both that's going to be another thing that we're going to have to see what they do is there going to be a connection between the two is there going to be advantage to having one versus the other is there going to be a need to have one versus the other you know, and that's one of the things that I'm kind of curious about myself um, is is what is the true comparison between the two going to look like and how much of that is going to be impactful on the simulation experience, especially when you throw those third party add ons into the mix. Neo Fly and HPG and a lot of their stuff and some of the other career platforms that already exist in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Obviously, these animations and things like that are truly going to change the game up a lot because immersion is everything. And these animations are fantastic. The animations that we're seeing here are just mind boggling. I mean, they're incredible. So you have that aspect as well that, yeah, that's going to change a lot. That's really going to change a lot. Something as simple as animation um, can be a game changer. So it's hard to say. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you guys. We're going to have to get a group flight together going here or some sort of live stream soon and get all together and start talking, geeking out some Microsoft Flight Simulator. Stay on the lookout for more videos. We have a bunch of more hardware to review. We've got some uh, new thoughts on the NLR cockpit, guys. I am absolutely loving it. I can't wait to show you guys what I've done with it. Um, everything is still out of the box. So every configuration that I've made on the uh, Next Level Racing uh, Pro Flight Simulation cockpit is what comes in the boxes. So it's working out really well so far. I can't wait to show you guys what's in store. As always, guys, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next one.